we've got to talk about the uh, big breaking story over the last 24 hours. And this is coming from France, where a French broadcaster has interviewed the uh, French doctor who was involved with Rassing and stood Johnny Sexton down for 12 weeks all the way back in 2014 because of a concussion issue. He's been interviewed ahead of the game this week and um, he's being quoted now in the papers in Ireland this morning. And the headline that the uh, papers have all gone with is that Sexton suffered 30 concussions over the course of his career. Um, this has led to, as you would expect, a lot of uh, interesting debate in the newspapers about what the uh, role of the IRFU is, what should happen with Sexton at the weekend, and Sexton's due to face the media today. So, um, obviously, that's the only thing that he's going to be asked about at the start of his press conference. If he if he does face the media today, I mean, there's a possibility he might not, but he's scheduled to. So, um, what's going on here, Owen? Do you think? But it's interesting, I'm just uh, after seeing as well that you've got Professor Jean Chazal, who's done an interview with Midi Olympique, saying that if Sexton plays on Sunday, it's sad for him. So you've got two different doctors, basically, in France, speaking publicly on the matter of Johnny Sexton's head injuries. My initial feeling on this was that I feel slightly uncomfortable about this. The first guy you mentioned here, Dr. Jean-Francois Sherman, obviously he's the guy who recommended Sexton being stood down for 12 weeks in 2014. He's got somewhat of an expertise on Sexton specifically, given he was his doctor in 2014, but he hasn't worked with him since. It's been six years. What was it, 2015? Sexton left Racing. It's been six years, at least, since he's worked with him. He has used the word if in what he is saying about Johnny Sexton, uh, and he says, I think Johnny Sexton has had around 30 concussions across his entire career. Yes, he has got the phrase doctor or professor in his title, but there is still an element of guesswork about what he is saying here with Johnny Sexton. It's great that concern is being shown. Everybody needs to show concern around HIA. But my initial response was, this is a French doctor being asked about this ahead of the an Ireland game this weekend. The doctor must prevent him from playing on Sunday if his tests are disturbed, he said. And the other guy who I mentioned uh, said that it's sad if he plays on Sunday as well, as I said. And it just seems, uh, I don't know, a, li a little bit like, hey, let's throw these things out there because we are French doctors and we are playing Ireland this weekend. And that, that is, unfortunately, my initial feeling on this. And like maybe if, if I think about it rationally, that shouldn't be the way. Maybe they, their concerns are 100% are serious and, and, and they should be. And maybe this is just the, the only reason why they're being brought up is because the hook is the Ireland game. But it just feels to me, I've got, I, I just feel a little bit uncomfortable about these doctors coming out all of a sudden feeling concern for Johnny Sexton when there could have been so many different opportunities for them at any other stage over the last few years for them to also voice this concern. I think the um, the, the point that you're making is, is encapsulated in that headline in the back of the Indo this morning. Mind games, French medics say Sexton shouldn't play. Um, so I think at, at the core of, of that concern is that all of a sudden... Um, these doctors have decided to come out this week and speak about this issue. I, I mean, there's a fairly, I would say, logical counterpoint to that in that last week, Sexton came off and didn't come back onto the field of play. I haven't seen it confirmed by the IRFU that he suffered, uh, or that uh, he failed HIA. Uh, we'll find out, I guess, those details specifically about that. He was going through the return to play protocols. That's what um, uh, the press conference said yesterday. It was Easter beat at the press conference yesterday. So, you know, um, people, are making those assumptions. I didn't see the press releases, so I didn't go and check in the time this morning to check back specifically on that point. But uh, he went off last week. The French media contacted the doctor who stood him down for 12 weeks when he was at Racing ahead of the game that they're playing in this week. So this is the week that you would express that would be, you know, and I, I'm not sure that the doctors are involved in some grand conspiracy to unsettle the Irish rugby team the week out from the game. Maybe, look, Maybe that does happen in um, in different parts of the world. Um, perhaps these people are concerned about what they're seeing in rugby as a trend at the moment. And I, just to take it away from Johnny Sexton, because I know in the past he's spoken um, uh, in 2018, he found it unbelievably frustrating that people were speculating about the number of concussions he had, particularly when it comes to a head injury not automatically being a concussion specifically because the insurance companies are, are looking at this and then they all have to go and get insurance and talk to the insurance companies and it, you know, it has a potential long-term ramification for him and it's his private medical stuff. So um, to take that away, what's happened in rugby over the last six months is that 
a bunch of players have come forward and said that they're suffering the after effects, like very serious, life altering, life shortening after effects of playing professional rugby. And playing professional rugby uh, this, this century, this millennium, like Steve Thompson watches the World Cup in 2003 and can't remember playing in the matches, is, is like curious to find out what happens and, and how he's going to play in that match. Um, like there are fairly catastrophic injuries being suffered by people in the sport of rugby. And last week in the first game of the Six Nations that Ireland played in, there were five HIAs. It was like, what is it? 22, 20, 46 players. Um, one ninth of them go off for HIA. Maybe there are some after the game as well who are feeling the after effects of it. This sport has become brutal. And actually, if doctors are speaking out in the middle of a match week, I think, I know the rush is going to be, ah, oh, the crafty French are at it again. But, mm. like, if we can take the individuals out, perhaps the message is this sport got pretty brutal. This, this is where I, I agree with you. I, I think that if there are two separate things, I think about the Sexton situation, I think to myself, he's been very well looked after. More than qualified people all around him. And also, as I think Julian Marchand actually said, nobody else is in Sexton's shoes at the moment. But then there's a second thing here, which you mentioned, which is the, the wider question around rugby. And like this, this is obviously the first time all of us had watched test rugby since the concussion lawsuit came to the fore, what was it, around Christmas time. Of course, we've watched rugby since then. We've watched Pro 14, we've watched Champions Cup, whatever. But there is always a higher intensity about test rugby. And bloody hell was there a high intensity about that game between Ireland and Wales last Sunday to the point where you were almost watching it between your fingers as a result of the context of last December, of the concuss concussion lawsuit being brought to the RFU, to the Wales uh, Rugby Union and to World Rugby. You're thinking to yourself, Jesus, how does this sport actually survive in its current guise over the next little while? The Peter O'Mahony hit wasn't even deliberate, and it was absolutely horrific, like watching a car crash in slow motion. The same with the, the hit on Gary Ringrose, again, accidental, like watching a car crash in slow motion. The James Ryan concussion, what did you say, five HIAs last Sunday? Absolutely incredible tally, and every single time there was a collision, you thought to yourself, this is horrific, absolutely horrific. And I'm certainly watching the sport through a new lens. I shouldn't be. We should we should all have been watching it through this lens over the last few years. The players got bigger, the, the tackles got more brutal, and the intensity of test rugby went to a whole new level. Like, the intensity hasn't just become a new thing this year, but it's become a new thing for me personally, watching it after the concussion lawsuit and hearing the testimony from someone like Steve Thompson, the, the, the horrific anecdotal evidence that, that were being... Uh, provided with over the last little while. And there is a whole new way of, of watching the sport now, which is discomfort. That is the main emotion you have in-game while watching these big hits take place. Of course, with the intensity, you have the, the big moments of enjoyment as a sports fan. But God, there's also a human element to it. And I'm not talking about Johnny Sexton here, for the record. I'm talking about the entire 80 minutes last weekend. Uh, certainly for a lot of the first half when the players were fresh and the hits were extremely hard and clean. It, it just felt, God, this is a, a little bit of a new chapter now. The context matters. And the, the context that we've seen over the last couple of months is just a grim picture for rugby. And what's happening on the pitch doesn't seem to allay any of those fears. Yeah. And, um, and we're obviously going to be hypersensitive to any of the stories around Johnny Sexton that come out from the French media the week of the match because the Six Nations is on such a knife edge, every match is so important. Um, you know, Midi Olympique, uh, their headline is Si Sexton joue dimanche, c'est triste pour lui. If Sexton plays on Sunday, it's sad for him. And they've got, is that Shazai? Is that the doctor who's speaking in that one? So obviously, a bunch of people have come forward yesterday. And this was on a, a French, uh, it was at a French radio show that um, they put the neurologist Jean Francois Charman on. So, I mean, this is obviously, it has been a story in the build-up to Ireland French games before, the targeting of Sexton, the uh, super aggressive hits that he has suffered in French matches, and the flabby refereeing around that in instances in the past. It's kind of become one of those pre-match battlegrounds. You think back to Eddie Jones crossing the line when he was expressing concern for um, Sexton's parents watching the game and the outcry that there was around that a couple of years back as well. So. 
Um, Sexton's health is a battleground in the build-up to these matches, which I can only imagine if you're Johnny Sexton is unbelievably frustrating because it's like, I mean, uh, what? And, and that's the question. That's my initial feeling when I saw the comments was this is not too dissimilar to Eddie Jones a couple of years ago. But maybe Dr. Jean-Francois Sherman is more qualified than Eddie Jones to at least speak about this. But I still felt initially this is a little bit speculative. But then for the reasons I just outlined, like you can't not take any of this sort of stuff seriously. Like it's... it's well, so... I, I just, even this morning, we're kind of so it, that was the the one piece that was on RMC Sport, which is the radio station, and um, but there's a piece in Midi Olympique, which is obviously not not just a rugby newspaper, but um, has a massive amount of rugby in it, and um, that piece where if he plays this week, it'll be sad for him. The person saying that is a renowned neurologist um, who's a former player with Claremont. So, look. Hopefully Johnny Sexton will address some of these issues today and uh, maybe he will be passed fit to play. Maybe the IRFU will choose not to play him irrespective of that. Maybe he's totally fine and this speculation is very unhelpful. But uh, we'll, get, we'll get to hear hopefully from him in the next uh, couple of hours or so. It's uh, 7.43 this morning here on OTBAM. We'd love to hear from you 0879 180 180.